Well, I mean, after 10 years, of course, the code had to be updated with uh, new developments, uh, like uh, in the internet, in the social media. It means that local and regional governments uh, do their jobs in a different way and civil society is organizing itself in a different way. So we had to react to that. But what is far more important really to me is that uh, it was a co-drafting process now. It's not as usual that one of the boxes in the Council of Europe does something and then later puts it to the other boxes and say, oh, isn't it a nice piece of paper? Um, couldn't you endorse it? But no, from the very beginning, this was a co-process between the conference and the Congress. And the original one was the code of good practice of the conference. But in October, when it will be adopted by both bodies, it will become the code of good conduct of the conference and the Congress. It will be our baby and we will be the parents. And that is something really new. Yes, the toolkit is the really inventive part of the whole thing, because we don't want to be just a piece of paper which sits there on the shelves, but we want it to become a living tool. And for that, of course, both sides the local and regional governments, just as well as the NGOs, need aid how to implement it, how to do it in a good way. So we want to collect good and bad practice examples. We want to analyze them from both sides. Every single example, how did the administration, the government feel about that process? And how did the civil society feel about the process? Where are the differences? Where do they look differently on it? Where was the things which really went well? But where were the glitches the, which put a bump in the whole process so that in the end you really will get something like a toolbox which you can grab into and see this is how I should do it and these other things I should better avoid because if I do that it might not go well and in the end it will cost a lot of money, it will cost a lot of time, it will cost a lot of energy and it will create a lot of conflict and we both don't want that.